Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to make some roast beef and gravy. And I've got several videos up where I made my Italian roast beef for the roast beef sandwiches and um, regular roast beef. But this is how a couple of weeks ago we bought a beef round top roast. <laughs> a beef round top roast. And in the package it didn't look like it was cut. So when I went to get the beef out, it was perfectly cut. So evidently they intended this to be two roast. Well, this right here, this will do good to feed my husband. But, um, and my son could eat this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it in my crock pot. And then later on, I'll show you how take it out, make gravy, and chop it up, make roast beef to go over mashed potatoes or toast you some bread, pour it over the bread and everything. So let me wash my hands and I'll be back just to show you how I season this up. I'm going to turn my crock pot on high again for a couple of hours and then we'll turn it down to low. But I'm going to add one can of beef broth. And I'm also going to add one beef bouillon cube. I know that probably seems weird, but that will help intensify the beef flavor and help with the sauce. I mean with the salt. Excuse me, it's early. Now I am going to add just a little bit of kosher salt. You don't want to add that much right yet because of the broth and all. And then I'm going to add just about a fourth teaspoon of minced garlic. A few dashes of uh, Worcestershire sauce. Because we'll be re-seasoning it after it cooks. I'm going to add just a little bit of onion powder. Because I'm not going to be adding an onion to this. And some black pepper. Nope, I ain't forgot my parsley. That will come when I make the gravy. And now, uh, just like with the Italian beef sandwiches, the pepperoni uh, peppers, I'm going to add a few of them because it just gives it a nice flavor. We'll be straining those out. Now I'm going to put my lid on it. Let it cook for a couple of hours on high. Then I'll turn it down to low, and halfway through, I will come in here and flip it. And the water content, I mean the beef content, should be fine in there. It shouldn't boil dry or anything, but if it does go into look a little dry, you can add a little water. Now, y'all remember my uh, crock pot lid broke the last time I used it. I ain't fixed it yet, and that's fine. I don't use my crock pot that much anyway. So, I'll be back when this gets done, after it cooks all day, on low, after a couple of hours when I put it on low, and flip it and everything, and then we'll be back to make the roast beef and gravy. And I know I babbled a lot, but it's early. Alright, my roast is done. I'm going to take it, the roast, actually out of the crock pot and just set it in a plate. Alright, here's my roast camera's backwards. Here's my roast. I'm going to just set it down. I cover it with a little bit of foil and let it just rest for a little bit. And in my saucepan, I have just a strainer in there. We're going to pour the broth. A lot of it did cook down. That was in there, but I didn't have to add any water. But a lot of it did cook down. So I'm going to pour this through the strainer. And now, there is probably about a cup of good broth in there. But I'm going to add another can of beef broth. And if you don't have any beef broth, add some um, a beef bouillon cube. And I will be adding a little bit of water too. I'm going to cut my pan on high. And I'm adding a half a can of water to it too. Now, uh, when I cook this other roast, 
that was with this roast. Um, the first day, of course, we had roast and everything, but the leftovers, this is what I made with the leftovers, was um, the leftover roast and the leftover gravy that I had. So anyway, I'm going to taste this to see what all it might need and if it needs any more seasoning. And remember, it might be a little bit spicy from the uh, peppers that we put in there, but it won't be unbearably spicy. Mmm, that's good. That's real good. I am going to add a little bit more salt and some black pepper. Here's my black pepper. And of course, you guessed it, some parsley flakes. About that much. And I am going to add just a little bit of onion powder and just a little bit of paprika and a couple more dashes of Worcestershire. And really, this doesn't have a hot, spicy taste to it from those peppers. Not real bad at all. But I'm going to bring this up to the bowl, and then I'll turn the heat down to like medium high. You don't want it to boil real hard. And we're going to let this just simmer away and cook away for about 20 minutes. And then I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and add. I know this is probably confusing with uh, while all I'm doing to it and throwing it in and everything. I'm just kind of just throwing things in. I remember how I did it the last time when I first cooked it. So, you know, just taste of it and see what you think would make go good in with your gravy. Because I am going to chop up this uh, little bit of roast beef and put it in there too. And we will be thickening this up with some water and cornstarch when it almost gets done. But I'm going to let this simmer away, like I say, for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'm going to chop uh, my meat up and put it in there and let it cook away just for a few minutes in there. And then we'll thicken it up. Here's my gravy simmering away. And I'm going to go ahead and put the shredded up roast beef in there. And let that cook right along with it. Now I'm going to let that cook with it for about 5-10 more minutes. And then we'll thicken it up. In my little bowl, I have a couple of teaspoons of cornstarch with a couple of teaspoons of water. Now, I probably won't add all of this. I'm going to add about half of it. And then I'm going to let it come back up to the bowl and let it boil for about a few seconds and see how thick that makes it. And then I'll see if I need to add the rest, and I probably will have to. And yep, I'm going to add the rest, stir it around, and I'm still going to let this simmer for a few minutes and keep stirring it. So I'll be back when this gets done. My gravy is done, my roast beef and gravy. So now I'm going to fix a plate and show you how I like to eat it. And here's my plate, and this is how I like it. I made spinach, too, but I don't want spinach. I don't like cooked spinach. I like it better raw, but that's for the other people in my house. And I made some homemade biscuits. Got me some homemade mashed potatoes with my roast beef and gravy. And if I don't shake the camera too bad. Mmm, that just looks so good. That's exactly how I like it. So I hope it wasn't too confusing how I did it, but this is real good. And like I said, you could even make some toast, toast some good thick bread, put some cheese on it, put this over it, and it will be good like that too. So anyway, I hope you enjoy.